My name is Miss Lisa and I'm with Veducation and we go all over the world talking to kids just like you about vegetables and why they're so good for our bodies and then we cook together and make them in really simple delicious ways. So do you guys want to cook with me today? Yes! Alright, well, let's get started. So this, have you ever seen this before? You have? What is, do you know what it is? Um, parsley. Parsley is our star of the show today. And some people call it an herb, but it's also considered a veggie because it's super delicious and it's super good for us. So when we eat our veggies, we have all different parts of the plant that we're eating. Because if you think about a flower, there's roots and a stem and leaves and a flower. When we eat our parsley, we're eating the leaves of that plant. And here's my favorite, favorite thing about parsley. It actually helps give us fast thinking brain power. So it helps us do better in school, think fast, think clear, makes us smarter. So all good reasons to eat our parsley. Today I'm gonna to show you guys a way to make parsley in a really fun, easy way. It's called a pesto. Has anyone ever heard of a pesto before? Anybody? Have you tried it? You've tried it before? This is gonna be a little bit different of a pesto and I think you guys are really gonna like it. First thing we're gonna do, everyone stick your hands out for me. We always wanna cook with clean hands, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of our sanitizer. Take some too. Rub your hands together. Rub, 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 rub. Then shake, 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 shake to dry them off. And then we're gonna to try to not touch our face or our hair afterwards. We're gonna keep our hands nice and clean while we're cooking. So the first thing we're gonna start with is the star of our show, our parsley. We need two cups, so this is my full cup. So we're gonna take our parsley and I'm gonna give you each a bunch of it. Can you take that? And you could take that and what I want you to do, I'll show you, is you're gonna rip it up a little bit and then push it down into here. So can you do that for me? Just rip it up and push it down. Very good. So while you're doing that, we're gonna get started on our next ingredient. What is this called? Lemon. This is a lemon, yes, very good. Feel that for me. It's pretty hard, right? I need to fill this quarter cup up with lemon juice. Vegication across the nation, coming to your schools, cause veggies rule. Vegication across the nation, come and get them in and let the fun begin. If you don't know veggies, that's okay. We're gonna learn about them in a brand new way. Do you like them, love them, cause we wanna know. Whatever you pick will be the star of the show. How are we doing? Looking good? All right, so you guys have done a great job over there. Use those muscles, and we're all set here. Thank you so much. So we're going to take your cup, your quarter cup of lemon juice, and you want to take that and just pour that right on top. And so why we put this in is it gives us a nice lemon flavor, but it also keeps our parsley looking nice and bright and green. So our next ingredient is olive oil. And we like to cook with healthy oils like olive oil for a couple of reasons. One, because we said our heart's important and olive oil is really good for our heart. It's also good for our brain. Helps our brain keep us thinking fast, which is great. But it's another food beauty product. I call it inside out conditioner. Because when we eat it, it helps our hair grow softer and shinier and without tangles. So we're gonna use it today in our recipe and we need one whole cup of it. But I want you guys to all do this. So we're gonna start over here. Would you hold this cup for him? And you're gonna fill, this is our quarter cup. We need one. So we're going to do it four times, and if you can help me, we'll pour this together. Fill it all the way up to the top. Very good. Put that down, and if you want to pour into our blender. And then switch off, he'll hold the cup for you. We're going to need two more. Ladies and partner to do that. Pour that on in. You want to pour first? Okay. Good. We're Thank you. Alright, like so that's them, our olive oil. Really easy. Next, we're going to use this. Does anyone know what this is? What? This is garlic. This, I say this is onion's best friend. They always like to be together in recipes, but today garlic is out on his own. And this is our bulb of garlic. And our recipe calls for just one clove of the garlic. So, it has this papery stuff on it, and I don't want to eat that because it doesn't taste very good. So I'm going to show you guys a really cool chef's trick to get it off. 
You're gonna take the palm of your hand, again, like you guys did when we rolled the lemon, and you're gonna go wakata, smash it. Can you do that for me? All right, go ahead, give it lots of muscle. Smash it, one more time, nice and hard. Excellent, you wanna give it a try? Come on over. Palm of your hand, smack it nice and hard. One more time. Very good. So when we smash it like that, the paper comes off real easily. And the blender's gonna do the work for us, cutting it up. So we're almost done, we're almost there, but we have my favorite part of any recipe, which is our salt and pepper, because we all have to shake and twist. Can you guys shake and twist with me? You can shake and twist, shake and twist, all right. So you hold the top and the bottom, and give me a twist, twist. And you're gonna do two twists of our salt. Very good. And give me another twist, twist. Very good. And that's it, that's all of our ingredients. Super, super easy. So now we get to use our blender and blend this up. You're both gonna take your hands, you're gonna put them on top, you're gonna press and twist. Go ahead, go and do that for me. So you see we have our olive oil, the lemon juice that you guys squeezed in there, our parsley that we, we tore up, popped our garlic in there, and then twist, twist our salt and pepper, and we're gonna have this delicious parsley to try. Do you guys wanna give this a try? All right, we're gonna taste this, and I'm gonna give you each a little cup and a little bit of whole wheat pita bread to try it with, because this makes a great dip. We can also put it on things like pasta or pizza, or we can dip it with our veggies, like carrots and celery and things like that. I'm so excited that you all wanna try it. I really want to know what you think of it, because you made it. So I'll give you one, you take a little piece of our pita. Did you need it yet? Yeah, go for it. And what we'll do is we're gonna take a little vote on it. So I'm gonna tell you a little something about trying things. Because you see, my daddy is a chef. He would always tell me, Lisa, I always want you to try everything two times. Because the first time that you try something new, you're thinking to yourself, I'm not gonna like this, I'm not gonna like this, I'm not gonna like this. And then, that second time you try it, you have a chance to get over your fear and actually taste it. And you might learn that you like something new, and you might find that you don't like it. And that's okay, because not everybody likes everything. So, give me a thumb up if you like it. Oh, we got lots of thumbs up. If we like it, two thumbs up. Did I get any two thumbs way up? Lots of two thumbs way up. Well, that's awesome. Give yourselves a round of applause. You guys did a great, great job. And what I'm gonna do is give you the recipe to take home because since now you know how to make it and you like it so much, you could take it home and make it for your family. Does that sound good? Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for coming and cooking with me today. Had a great time with you. Come and get a minute and let the fun begin.